We have a bit of history to bring you here. It's all set here. The big stage, the big occasion. The ITTF World Cup is back. Beautiful, shiny, sparkling city. The biggest stars in the world are here. The crowd has shown up. It's what we've all been waiting for. Time and time again, these two greats are providing us superb entertainment. A massive moment here. How can you play table tennis any better? Test it everywhere on the table. Are we about to witness the turning of tides and the changing of lives? Watch me in action. Hello and a very good morning to you from the Galaxy Arena in Macau, China. This is the venue for the ATT World Cup. That has the time Well, with me oh, in the commentary position is Glenn Masqueridis, and I know, Glenn, you can't wait to see it. As we look at the draw here, anything that picks out your fancy. You know, they, they took away the um, the country uh, seeding before, where you couldn't play someone from your country. Lin Shadong and Fan Zhendong, well, that one is going to be a really interesting match. The Moines is out, absolutely. I think it's going to be a, a cracker of a day today, and I'm really excited to get all on including one especially uh, one with the wrong and Mama Slovenia. 
are, but yeah, he uh, certainly could be the dark horse, if you will, if he's Thiago Apollonia. The Gaoyan is next up from China. Big five, as it were. Tomislav puts up two, oh sorry, Drew, two all. Tomislav again, four zero. He needed to uh, get a good win there and he delivered in Spain. So very, very well done for him. This, of course, get back to the normal format, and the reason for that is, of course, so many matches all have to be accommodated. But right now, I think we are going to see a real test of stamina and skill. The lads get a little bit of time, uh, you know, if, if they're down to make the comeback. Uh, you're not limited to just, and let's not forget the odd number, so that's always, uh, you know, the best of scenario seven. And uh, I'm very keen on seeing if, uh, if, if Jokic can actually get past Lin Gao Yang. I think it's a bit of a tough ask, but having said that, we've seen that he's a solid player, um, got all his, uh, well, basics right, and he uses them to great measure. Lin Gao Yang, on the other hand, well, like every single Chinese player that's there in the top 10, he brings his own skill and his own magic, well, to this uh, arena. Lin Gao Yang to serve, love on. Lin Gao Yang always, uh, known for that left hand attack and we start off the morning of course with opposite hands which is great a positive there for Lin Gao Yan and the fans have turned up very early uh, yeah this would be uh, now in the knockout stages it gets very real and they're gonna begin support now we don't saw instances yesterday of players taking their foot off the pedal a little bit in an anticipation of the knockout rounds, but now, as you said, I think it's, this is it. They've got to go all in. They can't take any risks. 
they what's have interesting is that there's no statistics anymore. It's basically just the numbers. You win so many games, so you lose so many games, and, uh, and that's pretty much it. So I think uh, you are going to see players uh, give their all here because it's, it's either you fail through or you take the exit though. And, uh, well, most of them will play like they're playing uh, the final from this uh, uh, level onwards. So round of 16, Next. let's not forget, uh, we've got a couple more big stars coming up later, but it's still early here. Lin Goyan very comfortably off to a 4-0 lead. Let's make that five. This is kind of thing what people might have expected uh, in a in a sh this. Darko Jogic and Lin Goyan have never met before in competition. Is it going to be that One, slight element five. of surprise which you'd have thought would have helped Darko Jogic out, a player who's also been a former top 10. I think just a tad bit of nerves, uh, Shazad, for Darko Jogic. He's, uh, he hasn't really, you know, settled in as comfortably as Lin Goyan, who's, you know, prepped up and ready to go from that first serve. And Jorkic actually slowly getting into uh, the encounter. Uh, what's always been on my mind where, you know, some table tennis players really are prepped for the occasion from the first second. Mm. And some ease into the game. Yeah, which, they need uh, a bit of time. Seven, one. Yeah, you know, as you've seen uh, many tournaments of every different kind of sport, I think it's always interesting that in the group stages, you know you've, it's, not, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So you do not peak yet in the group stages, unless you're fighting for your life to get out of the group, which some players did yesterday. Seven, two. Whereas if you know you're playing with it, you can play within yourself, and then you start to peak that performance as the tournament or the event progresses. So I think you're going to see a far more ruthless Lingao Yen at times. Three, seven. I think that uh, very rightfully said, Shaz, you know, uh, big players do tend to conserve. They can serve and then they space the, you know, their mm. performance out. And well, yeah, I think it's going to be quite explosive today. And we're not just talking about, you know, one or two players, not a few Korean players or Chinese players. I think everybody, it's going to be fairly Four, explosive. Seven. But here's Jorgic. Jorgic yes. And I think he's kind of easing in now, which is a great thing. Three point between them. And uh, yeah, he was cruising this earlier. Darko Yogi. This is excellent six. from the Slovenian to have whittled that lead down to just one. Lin Goyan um, making a few mistakes there with his serve, with his return. Um, started off really, really positive. Six, That's more like eight. it. Time for Jogic. I think uh, Jogic just out of reach for him this time around. Uh, as soon as Jogic was right on his tail, Lingayan has just eased that pressure. He's now up by three. Jogic, a man who's won a singles silver in the European Championships back in 2022. And that's a delightful shot down the line. He's also won four Europe top 16 titles, or three rather, between 22 to 24, three in a row. So he is not one to be taken lightly. Lingayan himself, a very accomplished player. Ten, seven. As we do three game points now for Lingayan. Lingayan, well, he's done this a couple of times. So, well, I do, do believe that that's a shot that Jokic could have got back onto the table. Missed the backhand from Lingao Yan. Well, stamping his authority on this very first game here, Lingao Yan, as he takes it very, very nicely. Well, let's look at that backhand again, and there we go. 
knew where it was going to go and knew it was out of reach and that's it. So first game done. So at the uh, end of that first game, Ling Yen victorious 11-7 against Dr. Jokic. So Second quick game, for Ling Kai Yen, I felt that toward the end of it, he took his eye off the ball for just a short while. Game, Jokic played for him. And so he doesn't want to give Jokic that kind of hope that he can get back in. Probably it's going to be a battle. As well, Lin Gaoyan will taking the first two points. I uh, remember in the first game it felt so it both players cruising along uh, till they got to that uh, closing phase of the game. Three, oh, missed it there. First rally of the day, even if it was a small one. Was that a shot that was unplayable? I don't think so, Jess. <laughs> I think uh, Jorkic has missed out on a few. Love. Go, yeah. Another very similar start to what he had in the last game. Four, five love in the last one. Then uh, slowly but surely, Jorkic got back into it. One, four. Well, that's his, uh, one of his trademark serves. You have to pull out everything that you've got in your arsenal uh, when you know that you're lagging Four, behind. Two. Yeah, a couple of uh, good points there for him off the serve. Then Guyan has a 74% win rate overall. And 82% on Chinese players. come back well isn't he here very well I think Jorgic you know just kind of uh, slowly getting fired up you know he's been motivating himself and I think he's just going to say that and I think he's going to come back with a reply and he's only between 3-5 now Jorgic himself has a 61% or so win rate Overall, struggles against left-handers, barely, Four, really, actually. 57%, just a bit less than his overall win rate, so... No He's real. fairly comfortable with, with, yeah. with uh, left-handers, but... Uh, but Five, oh. now, actually, what's impressive is, as we see here, he's drawn level with Lindarian after another great start. So five of the last six points have gone to Darko Jorgic. He's got almost a 30% win rate against Chinese players, which I know may not sound a lot. Uh, not sound a lot in Asia, but outside Asia. <laughs> very good. That's a very, very decent start. This just created a few problems for Lin Gao Yen. He just wins this rally, though. I think the key of the matter has been uh, Jokic has relied more on his serve to win a few points. Uh, it's when you stretch into a rally, that's when Lin Gaoyan has that slight advantage because it gives him the opportunity to open up and smash. Five, seven. Placement there from Lin Gaoyan. So normally this is the period points start turning around. Oh, absolutely 
beautiful flick there. Yeah, done it very, very nicely. This is a man, of course, who's had multiple World Championship medals, none in singles. World Cup medals, his best performance in 20... Got it! 18, where he came third. Also, at the Walter Grand Finals, he has got a silver in 2018 and two bronzes, 2017 and 2019. Eight, six. Also, Ocean Games, he got a bronze in singles in 2018. And he's a former runner-up of the Asian Championships in oh, yeah, I'm just living through a moment with, uh, reliving a moment that Jogic should have gone through. And he missed out on what should have been a very playable shot. Just to complete that, he's also won the Asian Cup in 2017. So, a very accomplished player. But uh, to Darko Jogic's credit, he's only a point behind again. The ball attack is a fair for Lin. Well, so much that goes into setting that up. We've often seen you really have to. Eight, nine. Jogic stepping up closer. Well, you always have to set up your your opponent uh, with the serve to find yourself for that. Winning shot, and that's exactly what happens. Sometimes you just get your opponent to throw some error out of them. So now we're back to um, game point again, and this is going to be very interesting with Wendaoyan playing this first. I think there's, his plan would be to try and aim for the first four straight. Yeah, win this quickly, and then go with that tomorrow. Have as much rest as possible. That will work from the shot. Ringaryan will be happy with that. He converts the first of his game points. He's had two very good starts to games, but he's not been able to have it all smooth sailing after that. And that's a credit to Darko Jogic. But it is Lingaoyan up by two here at a second. So the, the difference here, Glenn, would be Third that game, in the group stages, if it was 2-0 to Lingao Yen, it's kind of now or never for Michael Jorgic if it was four, match, four games. But because we've got this new, this now elongated best of seven, there's still time for him. doesn't have to necessarily win this. Ideally, he would. But the, the best of seven allows you time to get into a match. The, the slow starters that you talked about, I'm not Andre saying he's the necessary one, because he's had some good moments. But he doesn't want to let... Well, he doesn't go in, get too far ahead of him, does he? 3-0, that would be a mountain to climb for him. I think the real concern here with most of the Chinese players, and I'm specifically saying the Chinese players, or even maybe some of the Korean players, you give them a few games, and then there's no coming back. Because they'll just run away with the whole thing. So I think if you're just got to really make a comeback of some sort here, or try and put his foot in the door, he's got to start it now. This is One, the third game. Three. If Lin Gaoyan wins this, he's definitely going to go for the vote. 
That's the first time that Darko Jogic has had the lead in this entire match inside the third game, and he's increased that lead by a couple of points. So let's see how Lingayan reacts to that. One, four. Not well, at the moment. I think that's working for uh, Darko Jokic. It's uh, precisely what the doctor ordered, I would say. Um, he needs this game, Shez. You're right. I think he has to really take this. Darko Jokic. Well, it gets to self at 4-2. Four, three. We'll get got to the semi-finals of the World Cup in 2020, the last time we had it held in China, way high. Lingayen semi-finals in Paris in 2018 got to the quarters in Liège in 2017. Left, three, five. The great backhand there. Doesn't take him too long to catch up, does it? Then go on. No, and that's why you could just make the most of his opportunities. Ten, four, five. Six, four. Now, can you pull one back here? Good power there from Lingo Yen. On the forehand. Well, there's definitely going to be no reply to that one in Chez. It's the first time, though, that Jokic is in the lead. Past five points. Seven, five, seven. And yeah, I mean, and, and, and actually, that's a good point because that's what mattered in the business of the game. All well and good having a lead early on. But the Chinese players in particular, they're so good at finishing games. So even if Ling is under a little bit of pressure here, and he is, you fully expect now a frontal assault from him. Six, seven. It's one of the odd bits, isn't it, Ling Yan? He gets you to go into, the defensive, into a defensive mode. And then the more you get defensive, he'll just exploit it and, you know, get you to make an error. Uh, he's done that a couple of times with Jorgic. What eight. at least Jorgic is able to do is not allowing Linga Yen to level up and take the lead back again. So this is good work for me. You just tick along like this, you'll be happy. And he's Hi. in a very good position here. Linga Yen goes after the serve. Absolutely brilliant so from Jogic. A lovely foil again into that. Ah. Notice as well, Glenn, that the because it's best of seven, we're not gonna have unless it's something very dire and drastic, no early timeouts. We had the best timeouts of all yesterday, <laughs> especially with games that the <laughs> after games were already results were decided. Yeah. <laughs> oh, beautifully done. Yeah, this is what he is doing now, right at the end Time of this game, he's putting that pressure on. What do we say? Timeout. Now, the reason why he's taking this Darko Jorgic, I'm sure it's going to be him who's asked for timeouts. That he wants to take the game off. This is a crucial game because it's the third, as we said. And he doesn't want to give him any more momentum. At least that time. Here we go.
Well, it just shows the, the gravity of the situation that Darko Jogic felt the need to take the break now. We were just talking about this earlier, Shaz, as to how he needs to take the game, and I think it really is crucial because if he doesn't, ah, it's just going to get away from him. Yeah, 3 0 becomes, I don't want to say impossible, but close to it. Again, he gets that flick in near the net. He's been given the opportunity. And I think this is why the timeout was taken. Lingao Yan switches gears. He just starts playing a shot and, you know, starts basically playing winners. Uh, he can actually control them. That's what he's... And I think Jorkic taking the timeout for that because he realized uh, Gao Yan was behind but just came back with two or three points. Magical touch there from Lindau Young. I think it's, it's really, really exciting uh, just to see the first big rally uh, of the morning, but just that magical touch from such a big fan of that. <laughs> yeah, I love the variation here. Really good shot selection. A fanny shot earlier than he's a counter loop. And a nice little drop. He's got a game point here, by the way. And he converts it. At the first time of asking, Lin Gao Yen wins this game. Remember, it was, what, 9-8 when he called it. Darko Jorgic, and it was three straight points from the timeout. So it didn't help Darko Jorgic at all, and he doesn't have any timeouts left. It's got to be dispiriting. Let's not forget he also led 4-1, Jorgic. Yeah, a change. that's right. He did very well. 11-9, Ling Gao Yen wins the third game. He is 3-0 up here. Glenn, this is uh, a big ask now, isn't it, for Darko Jogic? Jogic to serve, love all. Oh, it is a fabulous game here for... Yeah. Alain Galyan and for Darko Jogic, just as you said. I think it's a do or die here. I mean, there's no coming back from this. If you lose this game, <laughs> that's pretty much the end of it. And uh, I think that's the plan for Alain Galyan. I think the concern was in the previous game, and you know we were looking at it very um, closely. Jogic was leading. Jogic was very much in control of it, and then there's a point of time when that switch, the Lin Gao Yang mind went. What am I doing? Let me finish this game, and then he ch switches gears, and everything just changes, and he pull off a win. It's a two. Uh, okay, I would be happy to claim that point, but I think. Stress, it's a formula that we've seen with Chinese players. Cruise along for a couple of points. When you're tired of cruising, oh, <laughs> get into six gear and that's it. Left. Two. All. Left. Two. All. Just a few worries here for Jokic. Two. All going according to plan. It would look, it would seem for Luka Yen. Now look at Linda Yanchez, who started off confident, and now Four, two. he's just brimming with confidence. He's playing this game, the fourth game, like he knows he's going to win it. It's not even 
yeah. about being cautious, the tournament being, I mean, he has respect for his opponent, no doubt. But he's playing this knowing that he's got this under control. Yeah, I, I would agree that uh, right now, the way he is playing, he is absolutely brimming. You use that phrase, right? Brimming with confidence at the moment. And well, this is turning out, it could well be a four game match. I could be found in the group stages. <laughs> Nicely well done. done by Darko Jorgic. Well done. He's using the pace to send it back. Four, five. That's been a good serve for Darko Jorgic. Oh, he does pull that out of his sleeve every time he needs to, doesn't he, Ted? Darko Jorgic winning the Montreux Left. Top 16, his Four, best performance five. this year at the recent WTT champions at Incheon. He lost Five to all. Liang Jinkul in uh, the round 16, Darko Jogic. So five all currently. Just totally in command there. Gaoyan. This is uh, looking back to Jogic talking about what has been the highest point of his uh, life or career. He said the birth of his son last year in mm. July. Travels with his family. Oh, he's missed it. Air shot. Well done there. This could be his opportunity. Darko Jogic. I think just like this, look at the face, look at that spot. And when you watch Jogic, you know, says, you just know when you mentioned it that he's a top 10 player, you know he's been there. He, he is a player of very, very high quality. Uh, he's got great, he's got great temperament as well. probably heard that <laughs> <laughs> just in front here and seven all well, this is where as we said your gitch needs to be I think he has to push uh, uh, shares he's not cowed down he's not overwhelmed just playing Lin Gao Yan like you play any other player. Seven, that backhand, eight. an expansive one from uh, Lin Gao Yan. Jokic. They're happy to take the points and any errors that his opponent will make. He's got to hold that lead. Again, a similar situation in this game. Darko Jogic. Now remember, he was 9-8 up when he took a, a timeout. Ten, seven. Three game points for Darko Jogic. Is this a little ray of hope for him? Well, I think he's fighting back. And he has pulled one back. Darko Jogic. So what an exciting finish. Aided by the net there. If you can, well, play a ball that comes over the net that skims it, you know that your opponent's never going to get to it in time. So game four goes to Darko Jogic. He's won it 11-7, but it's 3-1 to Lingao Yen.
So Ling Gao Yan, now let's see, the most, mostly the Chinese team when they have lost a the game, there is uh, quite the backlash in the ensuing game. Up, one. Well, back on Jorgic. <laughs> He's playing with renewed energy. Mm. Three, love. That's yeah. Uh, will <laughs> always serve him well. <laughs> Excellent so far. Well, four points ahead here now, Daku Jogic is beginning to well, look stronger and stronger. Lin Gao Yan well, seems to be lost in his thoughts for the time being. And he's just kind of gotten to a bit of a silence. One. Better for Lin Gao Yan, finally gets his first point on the board in this game. If I was in Lin Gao Yan's position, I'd probably want to just finish it as fast as possible. Having said that, I can't take anything away from Jokic. Five, one. There's a big groan from most of the fans whenever it goes a bit long. He's really, really playing a very strong game, Shez. He's now, of course, going toe to toe with uh, Lin Gao Yan, matching his shots, matching those returns. I think Lin Gao Yan's got something to worry about now. Six, one. There we go again. This is very good moment. The biggest lead he's enjoyed so far, Darko Jogic. He's choosing his shots, Jess. He's taking his time. He's forcing those errors from Lin Gao Yan. That's all he's been doing this whole game. He's been forcing Lin Gao Yan to make those errors. No winners from him. He's just getting the ball back onto the table and tempting Lin Gao Yan. That's better. That's more like it. He needs a lot more of that, Lin Gao Yan, if he wants to finish this in four. You can wonder what happens to you know, the third track music when you really required to pull it out, but Lin Gao Yan didn't for the longest time. 2-7. Clipping the net alert again. It looks like this is going to run Jokic's way, unless now Lin Gao Yan pulls a rabbit out of the hat. Jokic is currently on eight points and serving. Lin Gao Yan, two. Eight. Let's make that three. Kuyogic looking very, very strong. And they're once again forcing that error from him. It's now 9-3 or 3-9. Lin Gao Yan on the back foot in this a second game. Remember, he raced away with three games. Um, and Jokic coming back to win the fourth one. And now Jokic looks like he might clinch the fifth. Well, that's Ten. seven game points to Darko Jogic. And I think that this is now going to be a real issue as far as uh, well, Lin Gao Yan is concerned. He has reason Ten. to worry. Four. And four, six game points here for Jogic. And it certainly seems like he will clinch. Eleven. This next one, and yes, he does. Jogic yep. takes the second game. Jokic, excellent work from him. And this is game on now, Glenn. It certainly is. And it's magical because all that he did through this entire game is just force those errors from Lingoya. Fifth game then goes to Darko Jokic, 11-4. It's 3-2 now for Lingoya. Well, 
Well, here we go, yeah. Spadley's been in these situations before, and there's not necessarily through them. Six games, no dick to serve, love on. I think this is a cause for concern for Lingao Yan. Well, he does. He does wither away in many games, and it's something, of course, yes, that you have seen, you know, over a couple of tournaments. Yeah. I mean, he's a great player, but that keeping that level. Yeah, there is a, a reputation whether to Steve or real that he doesn't always deal with the pressure particularly well. I think he's trying his best to kind of come back and, and finish it, and I hope he does in this, because in the previous game, it was absolutely a dreadful run for him. Yeah, he's now really got to be focused, step up. The coach, I'm sure, has him. On the other hand, look from Darko Jorgic's point of view. He's one game away from leveling this, and then we'll go to seven. It's huge. It's interesting, isn't it? Because Jorgic is actually playing the mind game really well. He's not there again. Points that he has been claiming from Lin Yan have been from Lin Yan's errors. He's forcing those errors again and again and again. Um, tempting him to put the ball well hard onto the table. But he's got a good bit of spin on it. And Lindoyan finding it out. That seems to be a very deep shot there. Lindoyan, well, in control of this rally entirely. But Jokic did get the wrong end of the bat there. Which is a surprise. Last, the speed of the last one. Yeah, big trolley there. Finally, he is well, pumping himself up. It's taken a bit of time. Yeah. I think in two games, just rested, and there it is that expression. That's the first one in, in the game, which means he is. He knows now that this is this is a tough fight, and he's going to value every point that he can claim from his opponent. But hats off to Jorgic, he's been magnificent uh, with the way that he has played. Three. There we go, another point to Jorgic. That's the reason why we do understand that in 2017, the European Championships where Darko Jorgic, of course, made himself one of the most popular lads in Europe in the world of table tennis. Um, there's no doubt about it why he was so high in the rankings later on. He is a really, really different player. He's, he's not just the kind that goes for an attack. Um, he's good with defense, knows how to plan his shots, his serves. Six, three. And Jokic is now leading, six, three. It looks like he's forcing uh, this encounter to go into a seven game affair. It certainly yeah. seems like it. Feel, it feels like it, doesn't it? Now, just an interesting bit. Lindoyan is coming in and moving. Like that beautiful well, forehand from him uh, to win it. But then he allows the Dorkic to probably get a point to two for every point that he's been claiming. Finally, a step up here. One point away now from Dr. Jokic yeah. is Lindoyan. He's got the crowd behind him, that's the best yeah, part. Yeah, he should harness that. Absolutely. Seven, six. 
And Jokic just, well, once again, really playing his opponent. Yeah, just in the middle of the show, so you'll get sure it's the third shot. Not, and he's gone long regardless. He wasn't expecting that to come back, but such a beautiful return. But then, then they're young claiming it. Now every point will be celebrated, there's no doubt about it. Seven all. Because the value of each point being one has mm. suddenly gone really high for both players. Oh, what a finish. Oh. Well, that was still the Orchid Well, just failing to get it back in. Eight all. Eight side. all. Yeah, nine, seven. So, Jorgic and Lindgajan now on par, eight hole. Jorgic to seven. <laughs> Once again, a point ahead, and I think Shez, who's now currently at nine, eight, it would be best for him if he really tried to finish it off in this game, because if it goes to a seven game affair, I have a sneaking suspicion that Jorgic might just clinch it. One step closer, two game points here, and match point as well for Lindau Young. I think this is important for him. Lucky silence in here. But not so much now. Four games to two. As you'd expect. The local favourite is expected to get through. So Lindal Young claiming it here. Winning this uh, four games to two. Well, what an event it's been. So there we go. Won the first three. Then Daka Jokic making a very strong comeback with two wins. And then, of course, in that sixth game, well, it was Lindau Young who just stepped it up as he got towards the closing well, area of the game. And here he is, a glimpse of him, that beautiful serve. I love the cameraman for that. Ward didn't have to sweat too much for that last point. And uh, finally, well, just getting past that, those obstacles that he had. And here are the final scores. 11-8 in the sixth game to Lingao Yen. We are going to go into a break very shortly. But Lingao Yen has won this uh, and been given a bit of a fight for two. The end result.
just looking at there at uh, the brackets, Lin Gao Yen will face either Lin Shidong or Fan Jin Dong. So we're going to have three players sort of in that little bottom half there. And uh, I think that top half of the draw will be a lot happier with things. Unless Shalbury claims it, unless Harimoto claims it. Oh, sorry, unless, uh, well, Shalbury claims that, then we'll have a change. But otherwise, right down there at the bottom, definitely <laughs> we've got a <laughs> ball Chinese player going through. Uh, big one coming up, and uh, very excited about this, yes, because I, I am as well. Yep, Felix Lebrun France takes on China's Malon. Second match now, Felix Lebrun, who beats Niklas Burgos and Gao Chung Rei 4 0 and 3 1, respectively, in the group stages. He walks through the young star, and at the other end of the spectrum, it's Ma Long, the legend, the greatest of all time. He beat Aditya Sarin and Edward Lee, both 4 0. But this by far will be his biggest test to come. And that match is coming up very shortly indeed. as is usually the case. <laughs> Lebron is already chomping at the bit to get going. The Chinese players, they quite often just eat the time. They're on no rush to start things. It's all that energy that uh, he's got. <laughs> well, for weeks, uh, Lebron and his brother Alexei as well, just two sparks of energy. <laughs> They're really, really restless, both of them. 
they're always on the move. Um, the, the odd thing about the younger LeBron is also the fact that when he's talking to his coach, he's always on the move. <laughs> There's never a steady moment. 17-year-old Felix LeBron is uh, already fit in the world. That is his best ranking so far. He's already got uh, two titles to his name on the uh, World Tour. And uh, Marlon is 35. Talking about, of course, he is a former world number one. He's got the record for being number one for the longest amount of time and for the longest consecutive period. He has won everything there is to win. Werner Koller is the umpire. And, um, yeah, he's won uh, World Cups. He's won World Championships. He's won Olympic Golds. A number of players can stay. They've done all of that. Ingrid Bogren is our assistant. You know what I find most exciting about this, uh, Shez? Is this is a very different matchup. For Falcon. Now, you're looking at the fourth and the fifth seed in the world, but it's really a battle of wisdom versus exuberance. You look at Marlong and you look at his demeanor, you look at the way he plays, he's the calm, collected guy. Um, he knows, he's been there, he's done that, burnt his fingers, healed them. But that is he's probably the greatest player of all time. And then you look at um, you know, LeBron. LeBron's fearless. He doesn't really, it doesn't matter to him who he's playing. Yeah. He'll still go for it. He'll still he's behave the way he behaves. He doesn't change. change. He doesn't so change at all. So it's, I think this is going to be a very, and then the age factor, 18 years apart, I think probably this is going to be the most uh, interesting, I'm going to say, intriguing match. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I would uh, agree with you on that. But this one's lip smacking. It's the future of table tennis versus uh, a legend of the game. Um, Malong's, they just, Malong's just going to pay you for not saying the past. Yeah, I know, exactly. <laughs> I had to choose my words carefully there. <laughs> and, um, yeah, uh, Malong has played him three times already. 2022 at the European Summer Series, the star contender there, Marlong won 3-1. Then in the star contender launch last year, Marlong won 3-2. Then we had the champions in Frankfurt, Marlong won 4-1. LeBron has got better since then. His star is rising, and some might say, Marlong now, the brightness isn't quite as bright as it used to be. So, would it surprise people if we were to win today? I don't think that shock factor is there anymore. Do love that he could do it. However, we are playing in China. Marlong, this is arguably could be his last World Cup. He wants to go out with a bang. Two, one. He's got a Copert shot. Fantastic from LeBron. And his loopy run. Yep, it's uh, certainly a LeBron characteristic. Two, two, oh, two. That's an excellent return there from LeBron. And this is what makes him such an interesting player. When you look at the brothers, they're so similar, but there's an element of difference. That's just in the past. <laughs> two, three. Yeah, Ma Long has uh, won the World Cup twice in 2012 and uh, 2015. <laughs> Four, two. And he's been in uh, multiple finals as well. Most recently in 2020, where he lost to uh, Fan Zhong Dong. And then in uh, 2014, also in three semis. 2017, 2019, 2008. 2008, 2009, and 2017. A lot of, uh, you know, critics would normally say Long has seen his glory days behind. Well, I don't think so. I think on, on a given day, and on his day, he's still the best. Three, five. Yeah, I think, I think discount Ma Long at your peril. Really don't want to be doing that. Let 
delivering myself, make sure not to throw backwards. Throw upwards. Three, very, five. very polite umpiring there. Got it, Three, six. Now he's been given a warning. So any other infringement there, he's going to lose a point, or his opponent gets a point. Just keep an eye on that. Six, four. Two points between them. Malong just claiming his own here. But remember, he's a great reader of the game. He's, well, as you said, probably the best that has been. Five, seven. Well, we did think that this was not going to be an easy game, and I'm sure that it's not. It's already, well, five, seven, but it looks like they played out a whole game. Uh, it, it's tough here. These two are really going at it, and it, it's a contest. You did mention it earlier. Six, seven. So we talk about this being probably one of the best games of the day, and here it is. LeBron now up to six, seven as he serves to equalize. Eight, six. Yeah, he's in, still hasn't let go of that lead, Marlon. He's got such a great walk-up pedigree that... He just keeps one foot ahead, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, it's, it's incredible because he's never failed to get to at least the semi-finals of every event he has been in. Nine, six. The Malong now just pulling away. I think really well done there. He's just very focused, keeping his world serve extremely tight. He knows that that could be key. Six, ten. The girl once again will hit some metal this time. So now, got four game points to Malong. Seven, yeah, ten. Four game points. He doesn't. Get it at first. Malong dragging it wild. I don't know what he was trying to do. He was just trying to put that ball just beyond the net. <laughs> 11, but he's done it all the same, Shares, the first game. game. Yeah, nicely done by Marlong to get things going. Actually pretty comfortable, I tell you, overall, Glenn. It was, it was. I don't think he had to really sweat too much for it. I think uh, LeBron Eleven seven. The Marlon takes the first game against Second game, now the serve, level. A good start here for oh. Malong, but we saw it was a good start for Ling Gao Yen for a little while, Glenn. Got it, got it. Then we and then, and then, and then saw what happened after that. Come back in. Yeah. Uh, but I think in, in this game, there's just a slight um, you know, change. LeBron likes to play fast. He likes to you know, go hammer and tongs, give your opponent time to think. One, one. But a player with the experience of Malong 
thinks faster than you can act. So that, that that's the big difference. And you know, maybe at some point, LeBron, it's not that he doesn't understand it. One, two. But it, he doesn't want it to, you know, put him on the back foot or overwhelm him. So Malong now wants two points. LeBron to serve. Two, two. Two all. Three, two. Malong celebrating that. Do not see him doing that too often. As a table tennis player, you just know, you just know when that point was worth the celebration. Three, three. Because he never leveled the scores in the previous game, LeBron. So this could mark a good moment for him. Yeah, a change could be in the offing. It certainly looks like it. Four, three. Oh, excellent service there from LeBron. Yep, in the lead for the first time in this match. Oh! How three. fast was that? Oh, that is absolutely brilliant from the young cancer lad. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, Chess out crossing Malong there. <laughs> Let's one down the line. Four, five. And that's what Malong will do. He's going to take the pace off this. He knows LeBron thrives on it. But he's just going to use, well, tactical intelligence against him. So it's... Four five, how long to serve? Five. Six four. That's got oh, to be a really, really commanding shot from Felix LeBron. Oh he's he's just an amazing player, isn't he? Just a colourful character by himself. Oh, yeah. he's it's a, a breath of fresh air. Oh, Seven, this is four. fantastic. Wow, this is interesting to see. We wondered what kind of match this would be. Oh, he's taking the game back to Malong. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. He's winning these long rallies, Five, isn't he? Seven. LeBron. I think Malong understands this. Because even though he's had, he's been forced into this rally. Oh, he took the edge. I'm sorry. It did look as if LeBron had won it, but it was off the edge. Acknowledgement there from Marlon. But I think Marlon does understand that these rallies have actually been won by mm. uh, by Felix LeBron. He's been trying to avoid them. Uh, you know, keep the ball closer to the net rather than give him space to move back. Six, seven. A couple of very good points here for Marlong to get right back into it. Oh, and the intensity that he brings. Six, seven. Seven. You heard the Tolle there. Seven all now. It certainly has been interesting. Malong knows that this is a tough fight, so he will celebrate the points, and that's great respect for his opponent. Tolle! Seven, eight. And another one there, straight back to Felix Abron. Well, he played the youngster here. Four points in a row, Glenn. He was in a little bit of 
strife. And he has uh, come back out of that very, very nicely. Johnny! Nine, seven. He's just going on, does not he? What's interesting as well is you don't see Marlon give that much reaction as well. well that's exactly what he's celebrating every point. And yeah. that's actually, that's kind of respect for LeBron. It, it is. It, it's, it shows that he's been under some pressure and he's coming through it. He's letting it, kind of letting off some steam here. Quality. Absolutely phenomenal. This is what makes Malone well, the player that he is. It's just outstanding work. Look at that. A pace. Wow. Yeah. He gets off his feet. Remember, he too is just see him doing just that. impassively <laughs> clapping. Three game points here for Marlon. <laughs> Eight, ten. Oh, he, he finally breaks that run, LeBron. But I feel the damage has been done already, though. Yeah, that's, that's the guys. Watch this excellent, excellent finish there from him. It's just, <laughs> it surprises me. I'm, I'm not surprised with Marlon. We've seen him over the years. We know what he's capable of. But it just surprises me for his age, Felix LeBron. Game to Glenn, this is really an incredible comeback here. He was 4 7 down and he took seven of the last eight points. Yeah, he just kept going. It was like an un a relentless train on a track. And uh, well, yeah, we have the score 11 8 in the second game. Marlon is 2 0 up against Felix Lebrun. Third game, Liberin Reserve, Laval. Left one. You know, Glenn, it's, it's only been what, two and a bit games in. And I know it's gone both gone Marlong's way. Got it! Oh. Two, but it is it's really compelling viewing so far, isn't it? It is, it is. You know, um Malong's had to work for this, yeah. and LeBron's made him work for it. And uh, you know, to watch, as you said, you know, age difference, contrasting oh. styles, or oh, and absolutely great players, both of them. <laughs> Two, one. You know, just in conversation, we were saying, um, you know, LeBron, fearless, got his own personality, his own character. He brings so much of pizzazz to this, uh, you know, to the sport. Along, well, holding this game by a leash for the time being. I wouldn't be surprised someday shares of LeBron does hit world number one. I wouldn't be. Uh, yeah, I've, you know, quite a few people have uh, oh. also said. But one, I mean, four. that would be something in this day and age to be able to do, take that off the Chinese. But you just don't know with this young man. You and really don't know. That's the first time he's displayed his age. <laughs> Which he does. He, uh, he still tends to do this LeBron thing. And the timeout being taken by the young Frenchman.
time. Now, Darko Jorgic, Glenn, Four, called a timeout in the third game in the latter One, stages. Four. Actually, when he was 9 8 up, and it didn't work for him. Here, LeBron's down by three, but he's calling it early. Four, two. Also in the third game. Well, he's got a point since then. So an important uh, juncture for him. I thought Nalong would win that a little earlier in the rally when he went down the line, but LeBron got there quick. Well, he's been returning probably almost everything that Nalong's been throwing at him, which is really, mm. you know, fascinating to watch. But uh, just, you know, glimpses of the old Nalong here in this uh, rally that just went by. And by the old Nalong, I mean the young Nalong. <laughs> He's getting uh, exasperated. So since the interval, it's been two points to Marlon, one for LeBron. So it's a timeout, I should say, Three, excuse me. Six. And I yeah, think that that looks very Wang Hao esque that clapping. Yeah, I think that was the, the, the advice from the coach. Six, four. He was, uh, well, uh, asking him to aim for that third shot. <laughs> Because he's got the advantage here when he does that. Oh. The way he just covered the table there, very Malong-esque as well. Lebrun. Uh. And a very shallow shot. Oh, Six, oh the five. placement okay. just took the pace off it as well. Perfect. Uh. Well finished there from... Elise LeBron. Oh, excellent work being done. LeBron has only beaten two Chinese players in the 12 matches he has played against them. 17% win rate, but he's only 17. So I think we've got to just qualify that a little bit. Six, six. Well, that's a return, and this has been good. It's just amazing, those returns from a lightning fast reflexes, but you can have them, but you can put the ball out of the table. Uh, the beauty of it is LeBron gets it back on the table every time. So six all. He's playing a man who has beaten 85% of his opponents. Seven, six. But now he drew Marlong into that. Yeah, oh. that is the discipline. Problematic, perhaps. Marlon, by the way, against pen holders. Has only played. Six, eight. Oh, that's a problem here. That pen out has worked wonders here for him, Jez. You notice there's a change in his gameplay. He was mm. playing, uh, you know, just a freewheeling style. Now he's kind of started thinking through this game. Uh, I think coach's advice has really worked for him. Uh, playing a lot closer to the net, but not going in for those long, uh, you know, distance shots. Nine, this is an excellent period for LeBron. Well, this is the, thir the third game, and he's definitely looking to claim it. Something like five points in a row, Glenn. Absolutely. He's been on a run. Four game points now for LeBron. Well, he just turned this game around. Ten, seven. One save. 
Yeah, I was going to say that his stats go down quite significantly, Marlong, against Penhold, 70%. And he's lost the game here to Lebrun, who's pulled one back. Fascinating this between Ex these two. Exciting times here, I think. You know, he he just uh, turned the entire game around. He was playing a bit unsure in the beginning, just going for every shot. I think that timeout has worked wonders. So, in the third game, then Lebrun has uh, at least pulled one back here. It is 11-7 to him. 2-1 overall to Marlon. Look, Marlon is still in the pole position here. I've got to say it to you that... For now. For now. This year, he has won 7 out of 11 matches. That's 64%. So, 20% increase, a decrease yeah. from his normal winning rate. A little sweat there that has to be cleared up. So, again, I don't like using the word wane, on the wane. For someone like a Marlon, he's not at maybe the same Lavo. level that he used to be. This is about as good time as any to be playing Marlon. I think so. One love. However, you are still talking about the man that they call the GOAT. And as we said, quite possibly his last World Cup. He wants to go out with the bag. He's never failed to make it to the semis. One, one. But he is up against a man who's ranked just one place below him, whose star is rising. Two, one. And he's capable of silencing this hall. Well, he's in form, isn't he? Really taking this game to Malong. Like, there he is, leading 2 1. One. Three. Look at how quick that serve was. Just kicked up on Marlon. Hey. It's the first time in this whole tournament where I've seen Marlon really think things through. It's straightforward for him. Still now. Two, three. We barely had to get out of first gear. Simply have to love Wang Hao. <laughs> three, three. Oh, that flick. That came as a surprise, wasn't it? Bit of a bullet there. That wrist is so, so experienced mm. and powerful, boy. To see Marlon getting excited like a kid in a candy shop is a bit of a rarity nowadays. Yeah, he's going for it as well. He understands. Marlon knows he's got to finish it rather than stretch these. Well, flashes into a rally. This has been a good little period for him. I think the faster the better. Double fisted pump from Wang Hao, which is another unusual moment. Well, you just heard the exuberance, shall we say, the, the war cry. War cry, that's one way of putting it. Well, Lebrun is not afraid of expressing himself. I have, no, I have no problem with this. But it is also just showing your. It just gives a boost to your opponent. Right? You know, you're getting under their skin. 
I think. Oh. I'm all for players wanting to express themselves. And I think sometimes they are suffocated by rules and decorum and all that. It's not a decorum thing for me. Yeah. But it, it just gives your opponent that little feeling that, oh, That you're okay. unnerved. Yeah, exactly. Four, and why do you want to hand them that? Master Glass here from Malong. Shuts it down in one return. Just again, trying that long serve. Didn't help him out this time. Malong was ready for it. Got it! Oh, oh again. Go quick cross court. Malong. And he's just eased that pressure. Glenn. He has. Four he has. Cushion. I think this was important for him. Got it, huh? Nine, four. Want the nine points, yeah. We do know, we, oh, you know, often said this, shares that, you know, the LeBron brothers, their rise has been meteoric, and especially uh, Felix LeBron in a short period of time. Give him another year and you think of where he'll be in terms of experience. Five, nine. Nice backhand, but is it coming just a little too late? Well, I think the intent from Marlong will be to try and finish it. Oh, that's beautifully done. Let five, nine. Six, nine. He's stepping it up here, Police LeBron. On to. The next serve, 6 9. Oh. Time out. Well, interesting that he's taken the time out here, Marlong, with LeBron three points behind and just ensure that he can get to 3 1 now. Six, Important time nine. out here. Yeah, there's an upset uh, across in the ladies' draw. Wang Yidi out at the hands of Miwa Harimoto. Are we going to see another time uh, in trouble here? Well, not now, because right off the timeout that Marlon called, he sets up four game points. He just used, he just used that timeout, didn't he? Mm. Just came back and oh, just closed down any fight back here. 10-7. Don't put anything past young LeBron. You won't give up. You keep coming at you. Eight, ten. He's going back. Couple points here for LeBron. Just it down to just two game points now. And Malong knows there. He wasn't anticipating that. I think that's upset him a little bit. Uh, LeBron's movement of, you know, his choice of shots. I don't think Malong's been able to read through them too well. Oh, oh Malong makes the third game. He's still having kind of a little chat with himself. Oh, 
back in there. He misses that one. Lebrun, uh, Ma Long in a much more comfortable position now. 11-8 in game four. He's 3-1 up here against Felix Lebrun. Fifth game, Lebrun deserves La Vol. So Lebrun has to win this game. Yeah. Stay in the hunt. I think he started fairly well. But at least want to get that first serve in. That really makes the difference. Got it! One, one. Well, let's put that in. You can't see the difference in Marlon Chess. You actually can. Two, one. Well done there. And I don't know whether it's the, it's the age. Or I don't know whether it's the fact that your opponent has got a lot better. But it's one of the two or a mix of both. Two, two. Well, LeBron is looking to... Spend his stay at the table. He's going to do whatever he can to disrupt the rhythm of Marlon. Well, I think every time you make that comment, and then Marlon just comes and wins <laughs> the next point. <laughs> three, three. Oh, well done. Well done. Played him there. It's LeBron. Three all, remember. LeBron trails by two games in this best of seven. Malong has won three. LeBron won. Three, three. Malong does claim this game. He will claim passage to the next round. Four, three. Well, this is good for Marlon. After a bright start from Lebrun, he wants to sort of nip that in the bud so that he can finish this off, not risk taking this to a fifth or even beyond. Four, four. Oh, that return is so good. It's just the pace at which they return it, you know, that flick. And you can see that LeBron's wrist is probably not as strong as Marlong's, but that penalty grip, this is now where it comes into focus. Because you can flick with it naturally a lot faster. LeBron to serve, leads 5-4. That just gave him the opportunity six. that the last one that from Marlon Lebrun putting it away. Oh, this is the thing here. Marlon, you know, asking a few questions there on the table and right. Lebrun answering all of them and then add throwing another one in as well to win the point. Mm. That's what's been happening. And I think that's the reason why Marlon took that time out in the previous game. Five, six. The idea is how do you tackle a player who's probably sending everything back to you? Six, six. 
Oh, the man has spin on that one. It was never going to be playable. And I think LeBron didn't even read the turn on that. So, a kick tall chairs. Oof, nice and tight. Nice and tight. Six, seven. So, three points in a row. Seven, seven. And he's drawing back <laughs> off. LeBron's just playing this out like a battle of equals, isn't he? Just going for. Yeah. I've got to say, that's. You've got to love that. that. He's just, as you said, not intimidated by the situation or who he's playing. Gentlemen, please play. I think both these stars, such great visual. Entertainment. Seven, what a beautiful shot there from LeBron. Masterclass here from the youngster. Well, these are two key points he's just gained here to give himself a bit of room, LeBron. Well, it certainly looks like he's the mission here is just to claim this game. Ten, eight. Three game points for LeBron. I won't be surprised if he does take this one. One Two. save by Malong. Eight ten. He's taking the game, LeBrun. Fifth game for LeBrun. And he's pulled another one back here. It is game on. 3-2. What a matchup this is turning out to be. We always we knew it was going to be uh, a really great affair. But uh, LeBrun really bringing this game. So at the end of game five, which LeBrun wins 11-8. It is 3-2, though, to Marlon. Time, please. Players. Six game. Mado serve, love all. So an incredibly important game here, of course. It was, a, an, as it was in the last one, but Marlon wins this. And he is through to the quarters. Long love. Now you can tell how much each point means to Marlon. You notice his reaction has got stronger mm. and stronger, and there's more emotion in it now. One, one. Well, LeBron does well. Claim that point. 
She's not letting go either. Remember, if currently poised at 3 2, we've still got two games in the back to go. But will the Brown claim this one? That 1 1. Well, to be fair, LeBron has to claim this one to stay in it. He does. There's no choice. Two, one. And he understands that. Well, just the sheer class and quality of uh, Felix LeBron. Two, two. You know that line from the old song? I think it really applies to Felix Lebron. The future looks bright, I gotta wear shades. In this case, I gotta wear glasses. <laughs> yeah, very distinctive look that the Lebrons have. Let's do two. Three, two. My just in front here. The crowd, after seeing the shock of Wang Yidi being eliminated by Miwa Harimoto, certainly don't want to see their hero going as well. Two, four. And that's why the doubts will just get a bit louder as we get towards the business end of this map. Very assertive, yeah. Malong. Don't see him doing that too often. He used his entire body. Let two four. To drive that now, the bone will have to serve again. Three four. LeBron, very, very hurt about losing that point. <laughs> Five. Just needs a moment. Gentlemen, please continue to play. <laughs> he says that and Marlon still walks. Coach not happy about that decision. Gentlemen, five three. Five four. Well, he's put that behind him very quickly, LeBron, taking the next point. One way of certainly getting over things quickly. Again, maybe surprising Marlon with his choice of shot. He is on fire. Paris Lebron. Putting the net. We would gladly take that Marlon. amazing how LeBron has played this game. Just amazing. I mean, it's expected from Malong, but let's not forget that he's never beaten Malong before, but this is this is looking like really a stiff competition between these two. And, uh, you know, the fact that Malong himself has been, you know, unsettled during this game, uh, that he's been concerned, it just goes to show, at least since the last time they faced each other, where LeBron is right now. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this is 
exactly what they're saying about how just how impressive he is. Marlon, uh, sorry, Felix Lebron. They'll pull him into this that. This is just easing, isn't it? For him. That's what he needs. LeBron to serve, 6-8. 7-8. Eight. I think there's a bit of uh, urgency from both players to try and finish off the point as fast as possible. And that's where, you know, uh, they've been making a few errors. Well played. Magical shot there from LeBron. Well, he just changed direction. I think Malon also caught a tad bit by surprise. It was wonderful. Mm. Really good. Eight, eight. Malon is very well aware by now, or oh, he was a while back, that he's up against a very, very strong contender. It's, it's eight all now. So go with the challenge to take this. Nine, eight. Oh. Love how tense it's getting now right at the very end of this. Just playing out like a final. <laughs> Would have been interesting, actually, Shazad, if these two had really got to the final. I mean, this this is kind of a match that's worthy of a final. Isn't it, it is. It is. I totally agree. Eight, oh, and that gives him a couple of match points. Marlon. This is going to be a very interesting point. Look at that. Actually, Marlon was <laughs> expecting to take it, but uh, LeBron. An error, he himself knew that. It was a mistake that he wasn't expecting. Which is why he froze. Good placement. Is that the side of the edge? Malon asking for that. 11-8. Match two. Well, it's been given to Malon. It looks a side to me. No, side. It was side under the table. So. Game, game to mark. Oh, he's got a look Yeah, I mean, from there, it certainly looks to be the side. I love the record. He said side of the table towards the underside. <laughs> he just nailed it perfectly. So, great fight there, but uh, uh, Marlon will take it. This is going to be a huge amount of pressure. <laughs> Well, yeah, look, he got pushed, he got pushed big time by Felix Lebrun, who's got a lot more World Cup to come play, so you'll get over this, this uh, disappointment. He played the great Marlon here, who beat Felix Lebrun 11-7, 11-8, 7-11, 11-8, 8-11, games to two. He really stretched him. I think Marlon uh, wins it, oh, which was a fantastic win, but Shares, if you ask me, the real star of this game was LeBron. Yeah, wonderful stuff. LeBron, who pushed the GOAT right to the very end. An excellent result. As we go back for more matches very shortly indeed. Seven. Oh, 
Looking at the bracket then, Ma Long will play the winner of either Shunsuke Togami or Omar Asar. And, uh, yeah, it just looked like it could be up against Wang Chuchin in the semi-finals if things go that way. Coming up, Lian Jingkun of China takes on Sweden's Anton Shalbri. first session today here the round of 16 at the World Cup 2024 yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. 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 as well sorry here is uh, Liang Jingfu who beat Kip Islam and Christian Galson Australian and Swedish respectively 4-0 either match
Crash most recently. He has Jim Chong the seat umpire, where he lost a 1 2 2, but then he won in the Champions Incheon, where he beat Hugo Calderano 4 1. Bernard Buller is our assistant umpire. These two have met each other three times. Liang Jikun leads 2 1. Wang Hao is back. They first met the World Junior Championships in 2014. Liang Jikun won that 4 2. That was in the round of 16. Then they met at the star contender Bangkok last year in the round of 16. Shalbury won 3 1 in a bit of a surprise result, perhaps. And they last met earlier this year, just uh, recently, sorry, in the Champions Incheon, which, uh, as I mentioned, Liang Jinkun won. And he won that match 3-2. That went the distance, and it was 11-9 in the fifth. The very, First very game, tight indeed. Love it's going to be another long one, Glenn. I think it certainly could be, you know, uh, Shalbury brings such a, uh, you know, quality of uh, table tennis to the sport. It'll be interesting to see how he goes up against this wall number three. One love. Having said that, you know what uh, you know the world number three is capable of. We saw him yesterday in action. He too can, you know, turn on the pace factor when it's needed. Love two. That's exactly what I mean. He's a very unassuming player. You mm. kind of think he's, you know, just gonna be another uh, contender or another opponent. But he's lethal at given times. Currently leads to Next. love. Love two. One, two. Shalbury, on the other hand, is a cool customer. Three, one. Nah, Beyond the reach there of Shalbury. Talked about his best results so far. Two finals in the last two big WTT events for Liang Jinkun, for Shalbury. Got to the quarterfinals of the Europe Top 16 Cup. Montreux. Again, similar sort of shot. His last appearance in a WTT event a few weeks ago in Incheon, where, as I mentioned, he lost to this very player in the round of 32, but it was a very, very tight one. Beautiful backhand. This is a great start. No, she has just those well explosive moments from Liang Jin Kun. Those quick fire finishes. Always reminds me a bit of the world number two. Very similar in styles as compared to how the world number one and world number four are totally different. One six. But I always think that. Uh, Liang Jin Kun's style of play, his willingness to execute quickly, very much like uh, Huan Chun Dong. Six two. Good effort there from Shalbury to draw him in. Liang Jin Kun wants to finish this fast chess. He wants to stamp his authority on this game, claim the first one. And that's exactly what he's trying to do. He's trying to outpace Calvary. Yeah, he's cruising this first one so far. And this is, you know, we, we were just talking so much about, uh, you know, Felix LeBron in the previous game and Liang Chen Kun is that kind of player or rather LeBron is a bit like him uh, they like to keep coming at you they don't want to give you time to think Three, eight. Oh. <laughs> well, done. well if you want to come back wonderful yeah just the closing the face of the bracket there Nine, three. but he's unfazed Liang Chen Kun 
Well, he is indeed a man who's got a win rate of 78% uh, overall. For Europeans, it's an 88% win rate. Non Chinese players, it's about 86%. So. But that's fast, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Doesn't this look like a walk in the park here, Liang Jinkun, for the first game? And yes, it is a walk in the park, Shez. The first one is for certain. What a fine finish. Yeah. Is this going to be setting the tone for the rest of this match? Liang Jinkun takes the first game against Anton Shalbury, 11-3. So Shabri's got to uh, draw a line under a disappointing first game and now see what he can do in the second. One love. That's a good start to Shalbury and that's how you need to do it. Well, he has used that a couple of times over, you know, place that ball into an unplayable position. Love two. Two points ahead. One, two. Our service there from Liang Jintun. Yeah, it's uh, tough enough as it is playing a Chinese player, but uh, you don't want to be making it even easier for them by making a number of unforced errors. And they love that. Liang Jingun won his first game entirely like that. 3-2. Shalbury getting the upper hand now. Leads by one point, and that's a precious one. Well, he's got one of the better records against Chinese players, almost 30%. Shawbury. Five wins in 18 matches. 3 4. Oh, well done. Really rushed that, didn't he? Shalbury. That was opponent. Totally unawares here. You do have to take this game back to your opponent. Six, six, three. Oh, he's on a roll now. Three yeah. points ahead. This is good from Shalbury. First time we've seen Yang Jinkun under a bit of pressure in this match, frankly, in this uh, whole tournament. Four, six. Not the amount of spin generated on that one. 
but normally Liang Jin Kun says he's not really he's kind of unfazed mm. for the most part. Oh, that is a rally. That is an outstanding rally there, and Shalbury will claim it. We got the fans, of course. Oh, the Swedish fans are back in. Yeah, excellent work there. Anto Shalbury beating Isaac Quick 4 0, but, and then surprisingly, a, a good, great match against, I should say, against Im Jong Hoon. Two wall it ended. 7 5. With him just edging out Im Jong Hoon. 14 12. Just by a couple of points, he got through. Great service from Shalbury. Thought it through very well. Three points ahead now, and think Liang Jin Kun. He's got his thinking cap on already. Six eight. Yep, trying to claw his way back into this now, Liang Jin Kun. yesterday as well and even when they had finished the decisive match him and Aruna so he had a bit of practice in that shift mm -hmm. Do sound corrected, of course, it was Christian Carlson that Liang Jin Kun was playing, and he had those tons of lobs coming in. Uh, fellow Swede came in handy, Glenn, because you oh, were certainly did. I think you were saying, Oh, <laughs> they're just uh, oh, training for tomorrow, maybe. Do you think Carlson was trying to tire him out before he got <laughs> to meet Charles? Trying to help his mate out now. He didn't know at that point, of course, there was a draw last night. <laughs> now, two game points here for Shalbury. Now, so far, our previous two matches, the Chinese players, Ling Gao Yen and Ma Long. Ma Long, have taken a decent lead first. Two game points for Anton Shabri to make this one all. That's a very different vibe. Yeah, very different complexion to the match. Wow, superb from Anton Shabri, who is very convincingly beaten in the first game. But he has come back very nicely here in the second. So it's even Stevens, and it's looking to be fairly strong now. I think a well-matched um, affair right before us. So second game, Anton Shobri beats Liang Jin-kun. 11-8, it's one all. Sen, 
handlar mycket om att våga variera. Sen har du där raka nu på serven. Var du också lite lugnare, vänta lite. Jag tror att det var bra. Det är ju samma när han har gjort den då så vi ändå är ju helt och gå till den. Det kan ju vara. Får du lite spinnen så kan du mot backen. Det är ju bättre än i mitten för då tar han ju Kim, plein de sœurs, la forme. So nice result there, nice turnaround for Anton Chambry. Let's see the response here from Liang Jingkun. As we said, it tends to be a pretty uh, strong one. One more. An interesting battle between these two, and I'm really enjoying it because I did think that Liang Jin Kun was going to have the upper hand, but Solberry is no, you know, spring chicken. He's he's an experienced player, Got it. Two, one. and he knows how to draw on the points. Yes, certainly going down the line that worked for him. Liang Chen Kun just bringing it on back again. Well, this is how he won that first game. He was quick, did not allow or give, uh, you know, Shalbury too much of space. No straight returns. It was all angled. And I think that might just be the key for him. Oh, right off the edge there. Looked like it was going to be out. Don't you hate that when that happens to you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a really, really lucky one, isn't it? From a lob. Yeah, How often does that, that happen? Point! Ball two. A couple of good points there for Dover in terms of the context of the game. Well, I'd hate to say this, but looking at the way Shalbury is playing, look at that shot there. He is... Looks like he's in command for the time mm. being. Okay, five two. Oh, that is that is something that you don't see too often with Liang Jin Kun. Now you mentioned this earlier. Shalbury has defeated Liang Jin Kun. Yeah, and that's definitely in his mind. He knows his game. Yeah, it is mine. He's thinking, I can do it. I've done it before. I can do it again. At the same time, Liang Jinkun has also beaten him in the past, and Liang Jinkun knows his game as well. So these two really familiar with themselves, unlike a few of the matchups that we've had, or familiar with each other. Yeah, it was exactly, uh, it was exactly a year ago when Barbary beat him. Shalbury just well, failing to return that back, but he's been fairly good otherwise with countering every attack. If that serve turns on the magic there. Yeah, nice comeback here from Liang Jinkun. He's back in front here, Dalbury. To remember his coach while well, walking in with him seemed very easy, still easing into the day. His eyes are wide open now. <laughs> shalbury has got everyone awake. Five, seven. Well done. And that's a ploy that he's used a couple of times on Liang Jinkun. Couple of points ahead. I didn't think I would say this earlier, but I wouldn't be surprised if we can actually claim the second game. Oh. 
Three point lead now, Sobering. Wow. I'm trying to figure out what's going on in the mind of Liang Jinkun. Because he knows that uh, Shalbury is matching him and probably, you know, going a step or two ahead as well at the same time. There is a bit of concern there in Liang Jinkun's mind. He knows this. Wow, this is amazing. The way he's playing the moment, he's just brimming. He's just returning everything back. That's a very smart return. Just use that pace to send it back. Directing it straight back at Liang Jin Kun. Now that's five game points now. What a massive here. It. Absolutely massive for Anton Shalbury. That's 11-5, the Swede with the lead. That's what Shalbury <laughs> is currently. Well, that is uh, very impressive. It's the first time today that a non-Chinese player is in the lead. Convincingly. Yeah, very convincingly against another Chinese player. So that's very, very nicely done. And uh, he's under some strain here, some pressure. Yang Jin Kun. And the scores, Chess. Yep, it is 11 5 in the third game, and Anton Shabri is 2 1 up here. Now, we're in a situation here where for the first time in the, this World Cup, we have seen in the quarterfinal stages that a Chinese player is the one who is having to fight back. Interesting battle here in the fourth game. Love two. leading by two points. Liang Jin Kun. Well, has to put on his thinking cap. He's got to dig deep to come up with a few answers here. One, two. Okay, well, that goes Liang's way. Shalbury is just taking this, taking it away from Liang Jin Kun. Now remember, he's already two games ahead. Currently, in this fourth game, he leads 3 1. There is nothing that Shalbury is doing that isn't right. He's just getting everything right. That return of serve, the serve, placement of shots, the pace. Oh. I never ever thought I would say this, but Liang Jin Kun just outclassed for once. And he is making his Chinese opponent sweat. That's the first time I've seen it. 4-1, Shalbury. Oh, 
And he puts it away. The net playing a huge role in this. Glenn, if he, if he can play his cards right, go 3 1 up here. It's says huge. he's just in control. He's totally in control of this game. It's just pleasantly surprised me, I would say. I mean, there's nothing that we love more than a contest. We hate it to be one sided. We know the quality of the Chinese players. And to be able to well hold your own and even get ahead of Liang Chen Kun is not easy. Both players hesitant down that serve. So currently serving on two points is Liang Chen Kun, Shalbri on five. Not much at the moment that Liang Junkuni can offer in terms of resistance. Well, I think he's just got to keep, you know, pecking away, trying to get what points he can in because Shalbury is still looking rock solid. He's looking, well, the stronger of the two players on this particular day. Left. Five, three. But we've got an interesting match on here. <laughs> the crowd appreciates that one. How many times does the engine find himself in this situation? Time out. That'd be the most interesting thing. And a timeout that's been called. Oh. By Shalbury. The timeout called by Anton Schalbury, and the reason for that, of course, was very, very um, important. Uh, he just saw that Liang Chen Kun was stepping up his return, making a quick comeback into this game. That's the fourth game of the well slated seven. Okay, four six. Increases his lead, Anton Schalbury. still very much in the lead here. Well, he's just going great guns here. It's almost as if he's swapped places and he's playing like a top five player. And Liang Jun Kun definitely concerned now because here he is on the verge of well, probably clinching his third game. Eight, five. But Liang Jun Kun will stay in it. Just looking back at Shalbury, started playing table tennis when he was about 
Seven. He's really doing well. And I have a sneaking suspicion that's his mom and dad because his entire family, both the mother's side and father's side, play table tennis. That's the reason why he was surrounded by it and decided to pick it up. Um, even though he tried other sports, he decided to stay with it. Thanks, well, Stein, that's yeah. the benefits of table tennis. It's the detriment of uh, other things. You really dedicate your life to it if you're a... Well, someone asked him once, uh, why did you pick table tennis or other sports? And he said, because I think I had a bit of talent for it. <laughs> That's got to be such a humble answer. Has worked hard towards it, uh, 14 or 15, Six, moved to another Swedish town uh, to better his training. And then finally to Germany, where he would study and train. A very, very Six. serious athlete. Here he is, just about to clinch the third game. Four game points here for Shalbury. That's, well, he's clinched his third game out of the four games. Yeah, very, very good play from Anton Shalbury. And wow, this is severe pressure. Now, make no mistake about it. Um, Liang Jin Kuhn. Fantastic. That's a shot. He's taken the fourth game. And he's 3 1 up here. Fifth game, learn to surf, La Four. Well, this is a, a really key moment, Glenn, because to be beating a Chinese player in China, that is uh, no mean feat. It would be something very special. And it also, for everyone else, just opens up that draw, doesn't it? That half of the draw. It certainly does. I think it's one step ahead of that. To be beating a Chinese player in China who's ranked three in the world, three in the world. that's, that's just another say. story altogether. And I think yeah. that's going to be headline news. But shalbury has been convincing. Leads three games to one. He's been in control. There's no doubt about it. Well, if that's working for you, keep going. Just look at that. The confidence in that. He knows where he wants to place the ball. He is controlling the game for the time being. Wow, this is um, this will be great for him. All those years of training in Germany, in Sweden. He's also playing an informed player, Glenn. Remember, he got to the final of Singapore Smash, and he won the WTT Champions. He's in very, very good form. Yeah, very so good form. To be able to beat the player who did all that, wow, it's special. I was just saying this earlier. That's another point there. Just saying this earlier, the, the Swedish couple in the stands, it's probably his mom and dad, because he was just talking about it earlier in an interview where everybody in his mom's side and dad's side plays table tennis. Cousins, uncles, aunts, everybody. That's the sport they play. Yeah, it's, it's great to see when you have families. Oh, in that background. What surprises me is that Liang Tintun has not yet taken the time out. He's just going 
there. Going through his business, it's like he's got a plan in mind, or he'll just wait for the game to get over to have a chat with the coach. If he is trailing in this game, he will take it. Because Otherwise, it'll be a timeout wasted. Yeah, and it's it's all done. Once again, ah, now one or two more points from here. If if Shawbury gets up to say six four. 6-3, sorry. I think he's going to do it. It's a big, big moment here. He's playing with real confidence, Shawbury. It's, like, it's like the tables are turned. This is the way that Leung Jinkun handles opponent. And it's the way that Shawbury's handling him. Oh, that's... Time out. There you go. It has been called. Cannot take the risks. So, a uh, massive moment here for Leung Jin Kun. So, Shalbury leads currently, uh, you know, three games to one. We are into the fifth game of this clash. And uh, Liang Jin Kun, after that timeout, will serve at 3 5. Ah. Four, five. So that's a much stronger effort there from Liang Jin Kun. I'm sure Coach Wang Hao has had a few words with him. Yeah, that was um, just to set him back on track. Ah. Ah. Five, four. Got a different. All of a sudden, it's starting to change here, perhaps. Uh, uh, Six, five. Well, he's broken that little run of point. Just look at that return. Sent it straight back towards Liang Jin Kun. Almost caught him on uh, the chest. Shalbury back in front. Six off. But this is at least looking a lot more competitive than the last two games. And Shalbury called all the shot. Just had to apologize there a little bit. Robbery. Yeah. It's nice of fortune. Not much uh could do about that. But you need the luck sometimes, Glenn, especially when you're playing these Chinese players. When you're up there, I think you know at this stage of the contest. <laughs> you think that comes your way. So Liang Chen pulling level, still a long way to go for him. Remember, he's two whole games behind. Mm. Yeah, too much fight on that little top block from Anton Shalbury. Shalbury just asked to be punished there. Says, 
no doubt about it. Sometimes it happens, you just want to ease up with a gentler shot. Well, we saw this in the first game, didn't we? We've seen this over two days for Liang Jin Kun. He's had a lot of hit and clearing of one element. And he was trying to counter that shot break. Liang Jin Kun has moved up to nine points. Shawbury just well, turning the face of that bat a little bit, and I think that really got that ball to just descend towards the net. So 9-7. Liang Chen Kun will serve. Yeah, he has turned it on, hasn't he, Liang Chen Kun, when it matters, and it's three game points to him. Well, this was missing in three games in between, but it's mm. back after that explosive start that he had. Well, the timeout certainly has a difference. surprised me is that while Wang Hao of course can read the game from the sidelines much better than read uh, Liang's opponent, um, Liang Jin Kun well, just kept making those mistakes right through those entire two games. I guess lost in the moment. Sometimes you get into a trench and you can't get out and that's when you need the coach to give you a hand. Yeah, this is um, a reel of three games in a row of Shawbury. That was impressive. And that's it. Helped himself out here big time. Liang Jin Kun. Five games in the mix. Liang Jin Kun claiming this one. And currently stands at 3 2. And Chess, the scores tell us a story. It is in the fifth game. Liang Jin Kun has won it 11 8. It's 3 2 now. Still trailing until Shelbury. So, Shawbridge at serve. <laughs> the equation is the same here for Lin Jin Kun. Has to win this game, otherwise he's out. Hey, one all. And there's no timeouts left. Oh, he's gone wide. That was a, an opportunity for Shawbury. Dan Jin Kun waking up from his slumber. Very, very good rally. He was so far back as well, Liang Jinkun. There might have been an opportunity early in that rally as well for Shawbury to win it. That's a better shot. Those winners from him. I mean, w when we look back, Glenn, as well, at the, the kind of the writing was on the wall that this was going to be close because they're head to head. Holy Shabri won last year in Bangkok. And the last game that they played, 
the last match I played just earlier uh, this month towards the end of last month I should say Lanjin Kun won it 3-2 but only by the skin of his teeth 11-9 in the last game Six, three, all. and in that one he was up by two Lanjin Kun and then it was Shawbury battled back and then they had a almighty fifth game different story here it's going to hurt Shawbury if he can't win this having gone three up three one up is going to sting Jim uh. now well just showing signs of what he did in the first game of course it's a close fought affair here in the sixth but uh, let's not forget that he is looking strong. He's not looking like the Liang Jinkun we saw in those three games that he had to let go of. Mm. And uh, which means it's a fight here. He's looking to equalize and probably get the next one. But Shalbury says, I'm still here, still doing what I do. And as you can see, he's got the chair on, the world number three. Currently for all. We've still got one more game to go in this session, Chess. Yep, our final match. Still to come. Up to six. Looks like it's going to be even Stevens here. Well, Chess, you were just telling me about you know the the T-shirt that Shalbury wears. And the fact that it's an Indian brand, quite interesting. Well, I must tell you a little bit about the T-shirt that Liang Jun Kun wears. I've always been very, very, well, never been a fan of pink, but I've been noticing the design. It is a, just a really, really important part of the design of that Chinese uh, jersey or the T-shirt. Oh, well done. Oh, it made it. <laughs> Not this time. It was a very acute angle after that. That has got to be the love of the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> However, did that get back in? I don't know how that did it. Yeah, good question. Yes, Glenn, you were saying about this. Yeah, so yeah, we the design there, now. The, you know yeah. the, that yellow on the pink and the gold behind, but you look at the yellow, the way that it's positioned near the left shoulder and then around the neck. Right. When the light throws on it, it gives you a halo effect. Ooh. It's quite interesting. You don't realize it, but there's always a glow around the Pretty Chinese cool. players at that part. You would normally think the color's bleeding or whatever, but it's, I think it's intentionally done. Very well done, actually. Not that I'm saying that the lads are saintly. <laughs> well, they <laughs> might need some divine intervention <laughs> very shortly. Well, he surprised us, hasn't he, Shez? Really surprised us today. Yeah, I've been uh, super impressed with Anton Shawbury. They're just trading points right now. Now no, look at that exchange. It's not close. Lian Jin Kun, pretty much in control. Lovely backhand there from him. Was uh, Shalbury was asked uh, Shazad as to you know how many days uh, does he train, and he said, uh, "You, you got to love this. Eight days a week. <laughs> Sounds like the Beatles." But apparently, he does. He trains eight times a week. Or used to in his teens. Wow. You've got to put the hard yards in when you want to play players like this man here, Liang Jin Kun. Probably almost had this together. And unfortunately, well, took the tumble there. Liang Jin Kun leads now 8 7. 
Let's make that eight all. Oh, this is tense. It really is. He told me knows that if he loses this game, there's every chance that Liang Jinkun could come back stronger yeah. and take the next one. He has to try and win this. If it comes down to the final one, oh, that's going to be tough. This is his best shot. And once again, he knows what's at stake here. China have had some scares recently, as I mentioned, the World Team Championships. Now you're seeing reactions from Wang Hao, which is very, very unique. Mm. Not just with his arms, but vocally as well. Here we go again. He's countering. Oh, well done. Oh, what a shot. Brilliant. This time he gets it right. Oh, boy, well, that is difficult, isn't it? How often can you turn it around to your advantage? Yes, that love. Smash need by Yang Chen Kun. And Shalvi does well. That's counter. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? Now, people might think that's just easy. Easy to smash back. You should be winning points, but there's a lot of topspin on that. That's why the ball is rising. Now, you quite often see players will just try to just instead of smashing it, maybe just drop it in because the opponent's so far back. All again, easy to say. It's an extremely difficult shot to win. Yang uh, Kun says, hang on. Let me just clean it up here. Oh, look at the class of that play. Yeah, it? it is. It, it's just fantastic. Oh, choosing that spot so well, Liang Jin Kun. Championship material and uh, appreciation from Shalbury. <laughs> the game point is converted. We are going to go into a seventh. What a game we just had, though, between these two. And the drama continues. They are, I think, both delighted and relieved, Glenn. I think uh, about spending a ton's work here, yeah. this is really a fantastic contest. We're looking at two total tennis stars shining right here in the Galaxy Arena. Let's quickly run through the scores. 11-9, up to game six, Rio. So we are in the seventh and final game here. What a match this has been. Anton Schalbury, 3-1 up, now having to duke it out in this final game. You know this is akin to sand or Schalbury. You hold it in the palm of your hand and then slowly watch it slip through your fingers. That's yeah. He's hoping there'll still be some grains left at the end <laughs> because for the picking. Yeah. <laughs> but good start from the Swede. <laughs> and that was two points on Liang serve as well. So a real opportunity to go four up if he gets it right here. One of them he does. Excellent from Shalbury. Not taking anything away from Shalbury or Liang Jin Kun, but I really 
was not expecting this to go down to seven games. No, I don't think many people were, to be honest. It might have been a good fight from Shelburne, but not all the way. That was important, really important for Leung Jin Kun because four down. Put up leverage for him, isn't it? Uh, it, it yeah, I think it's a tough one. But now he's only two down. He's three down now, and he's, he hasn't won a service point yet. Yeah, Jin Kun. That would be a concern for him. Well, he's staying there. He's he's fighting back around Jinkun. But I hate to say this because he started off uh, this encounter with Shalbury fighting back. Mm. And now just the tables have turned entirely, but but more power to him to come back and just win two straight games. First service point one for Liang Jinkun in this seventh game. Oh, an opportunity there for Dalbury, critical one maybe. The trajectory of the ball. He slipped a couple of times as well. Goal! Three five. Yeah, that serve has been good for him. The game is so good, that eerie silence every yeah, time the every time he the point. Player. Which is, look, as a player, when you're up against a, a home crowd, a partisan home crowd, you want to silence them. It is literally music to your ears, or no music to your ears, perhaps, but that's what you want to do. And that is a, a real, I guess in a way, it sends a message to your opponent, who is from the home crowd, who's a... The swap ends, of course, in the last game. After a fantastic start, only one point in it. Uh, uh, very, really, very keen on finishing what he started. And I don't have any well, doubt about it, there's a strong chance that he will finish this. The important there is three points ahead. Let's just look at that. To be a class there closing Liang Jin Kun. Seven four. Well, to find the net rather than his side of the table. And Liang Jin Kun knows it's. This is going to be tough. Nice Important there for him to win that again. He could have gone four clear. Slight mistake there in that service. But sometimes when you do try to make it extremely difficult for the opponent with your serve, you can make it difficult for yourself and <laughs> will not get it right. To the three points ahead here. Oh. The engine couldn't serve. The two points adrift now, Liang Jin Kun. smile on his face 
Shawbury's led from the very start of this game. Oh, and it's got this, this three-point cushion. This could be so vital. But I think uh, this, this is really going to so call Shalbury to hold his own here. It's about that mental battle now. Can he win it? Can he believe that he can defeat Liang Jin Kun? Well, he's getting Four closer. Match points, Glenn. Oh. This is huge. Probably be the biggest of the tournament that we've seen. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I, can I can see the fans joining their hands together and screaming his name. Um, it's this man who's making the difference here. The Iceman of the morning. The fighting shot, he attempts it. Liang Jin Kuan, Anton Shalbury. What a result. That's headline news today. It is absolutely massive. Yes, you're right. Huge one. It's gone very quiet in the hall. Liang Jin Kuan, who's been one of the informed players, who's finally broken the hold that the top three players have had in Ma Long Wong Chu Chin and Fan Zhen Dong. He has been to by a man who beat him a year ago in Bangkok. He's done it here now in Macau at the World Cup as well in his backyard. That is superb. I'd love to say that the Anton Kun is wonderful, but I don't want to deny uh, Shalbury the credit. He was in the excellent form. Uh, look at this, the winning shot before he celebrated. Just amazing play from him right through. And you know, even those gentle turns that he's done or with the ball, settle him on a spin at it at the right time. He deserved this entirely. Now that's masterclass, isn't it? And also, just think he was 3-1 up. He's probably relieved as well as delighted, given that it was 3-1 up in his favor. But a fantastic result for Anton Shalbury. He beats Liang Jin Kun 3-11. Imagine how bad it was for him at the beginning. 11-8, 11-5, 11-6, 8-11, 9-11, 11-6. -11, he wins by four games to three. So that's been our biggest game of, uh, of the early session. And Chelsea we still have one more to go. Yeah, one more match to come in this morning session, which has now turned into uh, mid-afternoon almost. And that match is to start shortly. So very quick look at uh, how this is lining up. Malong has already made his place in. So Shalbury will go up against, uh, well, the winner of uh, the, the next game. And it's going to be interesting because we already have, uh, well, a few places in there that have been filled up. Remember, we've got one more to go. 
Lin Gao Yan is also up there in the same list as Shalbri. And Zhang Wujin faces off with uh, Lin Wenru in uh, just a little bit. Stay with us as we continue with our coverage of the round of 16 in the ITTF Men's World Cup in Macau 2024. So we're on to the next uh, matchup, which will be Zhang Wujin uh, facing off with uh, Lin Wenru. And uh, Zhang Wujin, of course, just stepping in. Lin Wenru will follow suit. We've already got uh, three spots filled up there in uh, the quarterfinals. And the fourth one will be done at the end of this game. Yeah, he beat uh, El Biali and uh, Gozi 4-0 and 4-0. Lin Wenru, Zhuang Zeraldo, he defeated 3-1. And Soda Matsushima 4-0. He had to win that too ensure that he got through. I think this one could be another <laughs> big match. Zhang Wujin against Lin Win Ru. So our next match here, Zhang Wu Jin, 28 years of age. He is 12th in the world. He is a former top 10 player. Lin Wen Ru is at 22. He is a top 10 player. Zhang Wu Jin has uh, been at eighth in the world. That was. Uh, Third quarter of last year. Good ball, Green. See the umpire. It's currently is uh, playing as pretty much the best ranking. Right, which one was the assistant? Semi-finals of the Singapore Smash, Lin Min Roo. Just 
but uh, lost the Ma Long in the quarterfinals of the WTT champions in Incheon. Before that, he actually beat his opponent here, Zhang Wu Jin, 3 1 in Incheon. So they've had a very recent meeting, just uh, last month. looking at their head to head in more detail it's 2-1 in favor of Lin Win Ru that meeting this year is the most recent one they've had I mean first after a long break they Jang first met in 2018 at the uh, World Team Cup in Tokyo in the semi-finals Jung Woo Jin won that 3-1 uh, and then in 2019 at the T2 Diamond Singapore Lin Win Ru won that 4-2 What I do love about these two is uh, Jung Woo Jin, you know, he's a bundle of energy. You know, he's like a spark just waiting to go off. And Lin Win Ru, very laid back, but extremely quick, extremely fast. Just that, he, that's deceptive. You don't expect it from him. Mm. So two very contrasting, uh, you know, lads as far as their styles are concerned. But we do know their achievements for now. One of the gentler rallies. I've noticed uh, Zhang Wujin yesterday, of course, he did have a few soft shots. All were winners. Mm. So, kind of interesting to see him, uh, you know, do what he's doing right now. Zhang Wujin, nice start here for him. An interesting play, isn't it? This is where Lin Rin Ru shines. Today you're going to see both these lads. Well, in an entirely different zone compared to what we've seen in the last few days. Mm. against the guile. Oh, well put. That's really, really what it is, isn't it? It sometimes just gets... Yeah, come on, come on. Two, five. But sometimes it isn't the greatest when you watch two players who are too much alike. You want to see that difference. Yeah, John Wojin. World Cup, he's... Done well in previous iterations of it. The team woke up in uh, 2019. He was part of the silver medal winning team. And then in the mixed team woke up just a few months ago in Chengdu. They came second as well. Way off. Couple of lobs in there, but ultimately Lin Rin Ru, well, closing in now on that lead that Zhang Wu Jin had. But well, wasn't control yet. Yeah, he also got singles bronze at the Asian Games last year. Zhang Wu Jin. And bronze in the Asian Championships in 2021. So it's even Stevens back again here in game number one. Lin Wenru for his part and mixed doubles bronze medal at the Olympics in Tokyo. In terms of singles, he did finish third at the World Cup in 2019 and third at the Asian Championships last year. Both of them bronze medalists at previous World Cups. They dearly would love to go one better here. Six, 
Nothing in it between them. Mob six all just looking very, very strong here. Both these lads. Gonna be a long affair here with the lads just trading points there. Yeah. Left, seven, six. Marvelous work being done here by both Jang Wu Chin and Lin Rin Ru. Seven, all. And that's how it's been climbing, point for point. It's enough to share in this first game. Well, Zhang Wujin, of course, did have a very, very good start, but it's Lin Rin Ru who's, well, just settled in. Found his way back to the trail very soon. Eight, seven. Now he serves with the lead. Jin. Just playing the gentle game there. And he wins it as well. A lovely little or gentle flick there towards Lin Rin Ru. To the Chinese Taipei player well, in the lead, even if it's a single point. I think if he can claim the next one. That game might just be within his reach. Well, this is a uh, big moment here. Chuckle led for most of the early stages of this first game. The nine all here. Service there from Lin Run Ru. It's now be an interesting one because he can claim it. Game point here. Left, left. Backward. 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 Ten. Ah, oh, what a return that was. Yeah, did well, that didn't jump with Jin. Oh, he just read that so, so well. He just sensed that he's going to probably attempt a no-spin serve. <laughs> Some quick shots here. Uh, just missing it out, just trying to find that just inside here. So, game point once yeah, again. Another game point for Limion Root. And he saved one. Jang Wu Jin <laughs> looks a bit nonplussed by it. <laughs> what a shot that was round the net there. That Almost terrific, isn't it? Another game point for him. Lin Rin Ru, 
the glass there from him in the first one. Atik was behind by three point shares. Yeah, excellent. Again, we talk about whether how you finish rather than start. And he has done the job here. Lin Min Ru taking the first game against uh, Zhang Wujin in this men's World Cup round of 16 match. 13-11. So, Lin Min Ru has taken the first game here against Jung Woo Jin in this round of 16 World Cup encounter. <laughs> Not happy himself. Well, I think he was expecting to get back on. Well, just to have that winner down the line but one all I don't think he wants I mean obviously the rule will keep that in mind that he had to work very very hard to get back into that game just want to maybe get off to a slightly better start if we can. One, ah. two. You know with Zhang Wujin that he is only so long he's going to be just be reactive. He's going to want to try and get proactive into things. And he just kind of almost snatched at that shot. Papa just come out a few times and that's very faulted, but this time. But the Lin Ru is stimulating his um, opponent. So interesting, very interesting to see how this match is playing out. Uh, very different from the earlier three. Uh, well, that's one thing I want to point out. The earlier three encounters that we saw have all been as different as chalk and cheese uh, shares. Um, we've had any similarity. We've had, you know, a long, well, seven game. Well, Thriller, we've had um, one of the best in the world facing one who will become the best in the world. We've had a massive, well, upset as well. And here we have two players again, just as you mentioned, two contrasting players, both highly talented and skilled, but one who might just have the edge when it comes to strategy, and that could be the Chinese Taipei lad, Lin Wen Ru. Just leaned on the table a few times now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's like really reach forward there. Six, three. So that's better from Linden Roop. Now leads by three points. Now I think Zhang Wujin would have said a lot. Three, 
Lovely oh, shot. Man. Beautiful cross court from Linwin Root. Elegant finish, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. By the slot to be put away from the Chinese Taipei star. Leads by four here. Four, seven. This is now Zhang Wujin's stride. Great amount of pace, good amount of power behind that. Eight, four. They'll make it unplayable, get it up towards the chest. So rather than when you find the shot, you got to defend. It's just rising on him and into that midriff area. So not much space to maneuver. You need to get out of the way. Or you you can get the sting. Maybe the lightest. It's a win in both. Nine, four. Sense some frustration with Zhang Wujin right now. And Wenru definitely hoping to clinch the second game too. There he's on the verge of it. Well, in double quick time. He's got six game points here, Linwin Root. Five, ten. Chang Wujin doesn't like the sound of that. Eleven, five, so, Linwin Root, Lin. it's been a good couple of games for him, especially the second one. I think that's a bit of a worry here for Zhang Wujin. Searching for a few answers in this game. Too many questions being thrown up by Lin Wen Ru. He's claimed two games, one for the third. Ah, much better. Yeah, that's uh, perfect as far as he's concerned with the third ball. This is where you want the ball on the return of serve so that you can put it away. Certainly come back a lot stronger here. Zhang Wujin. That net playing a big role in it. Zhang Wujin, very, very sincere expression here today. He knows he's got to win this game if he's got to stay in this contest. Otherwise, it might just be making things easier for Lin Wen Ru. Leads four points to one. Remember, he had a similar sort of start in the first game. Oh, exactly the same. 
And, and this is the difference between the two, is that Lin is quite unflappable, whereas Dung it, oh, sometimes gets impatient and wants to rush things. He is impulsive. He Very is an impulsive, impulsive player, play, that's right. True. And then Lin is happy to just buy this time if he has to and then plays the shot. That's why they call him the silent assassin. It's he just he certainly he is. waits for his moment. And he's, a, as you say, an unassuming looking person. Yeah, you wouldn't expect him to come out of those quick fire shots. That, that. Right. I think another very impulsive player is also uh, Felix Lebron. But impulsive with reason. Yeah. He knows what he's doing, actually. And it's not just, you know, taking a shot in the dark. Well, he, he did provide Malong with a lot of heartburn in the morning. <laughs> he did. He did indeed. Uh, that was a, a great match in which Malong came out of it. But uh, he was pushed, wasn't he? Just love that. Love that flash. It's the second like time it. he's done that today, Jung with Jin, or in this game alone, with the long serve. That scraps his opponent for space. Takes him with a surprise. That's why he's smooth from him. He, he's good at that that angle I think leads for three points in third game and Lin Wen says very nicely done yeah I'd like to claim it back yeah. here not getting too many rallies so far Himself up here, Jungle Jin. He's got a nice three point lead, four required to make this 2 1. It's strange, isn't it, when you see a smile from any of the top players? Never really a smile. Eight, that was an opportunity not taken by Lin. Yeah, he knows he should have done better with that one. That's clipping the net there from Lin. The worry here is if he does drop a game, Dunwichin could very well go in and win mm -hmm. another on the trot. And I think that's something that Lin Windu will be aware of. To meet the Wonderful. Just like that. Really nice. It's such a wonderful shot, isn't it? There's no need of any drama. Pick at the right spot. Finish it off, move on to the next. Uh, Zhang Wujin sees the danger, I think. And uh, quickly wants to just stop Lin Wen Ruiner's tracks. So John Woojin decided that 
because it's he's down by two, this is the third game. And uh, Lindman is starting to mount and fight back. Seven, he wanted to stop that, but it is Lin who gets the first point after the timeout. Well, I'd say if he equalizes here, this could probably go south for John. Oh, an important point there for Jung. Very, very important point. And well won. Well taken. Yeah, that would have, at 8 all just felt like Lin was right back in it. It's gone wide. All a bit unfortunate here for Chang Wu Jin. The net does not like him. Well, just hated there, Lin Bin Ru, but he'll be glad. So, 9 all in the third game. Let's remind you once again, just as you can see up there on the scorecard, well, it's uh, Chang Wu Jin who's behind Lin Bin Ru by two games. Well done. Rust the net there at the right time. Game Positioned point. it perfectly. Yep. Big moment here, Lyndon Root. Looking to save this. Which he does. Because of course if he goes on to win this 3-0, it becomes very, very difficult for Lyndon Root. Game points, Lindman Root. What a change here. I think Chang has been leading throughout this game Throughout as well. this game, absolutely. It's, uh, I think he will only have himself to blame for this. He's mm. practically just thrown it away if Lindman Root wins it. Well, on his serve, that's frustration for Lindman Root. Jungle Jin will take it. So back to square one. He will grab the advantage now. And it is Jung Woo Jin. Back on game point. We had one earlier. Lindman Roo, what a fine chance there to have finished it earlier. This guy did shot on his own serve. Oh, he's taking an edge. Oh, I thought it was going to go out. And it goes on. So quick, you can barely see it. Yeah, just the fine edge. So very, very fine. Um, probably just skimmed it very gently, but it's funny how players can actually get the best view of it, and they actually know it by the slight deviation in the direction. Another game point for Jung Woo Jin. Oh, what a 
first shot. And he's taking one back here, Zhang Wujin. But well done um, for Zhang Wujin to come back. He was two games behind. Um, needed to put on a fight here, and he's kind of come back at the right time. Could probably aim to win the second game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Zhang Wujin takes game three. It's 14-12 against Lee Minru. So what a change of affairs here in this uh, last game in the early session. It's game number four in the round of 16, Lin Run Ryu and Zhang Wujin. Let's quickly recap it to you after this point. Zhang Wujin starts from the front foot here. Let's not forget that's what he did in the first game, but Lin Run Ryu picked up two games before there was a comeback from Zhang Wujin in the previous one. So it's 2-1 currently in this seven game clash. Yeah, might have a bit between his teeth now, Zhang Wujin. He's kind of a momentum player. He was very hit and miss at times in the team championship, but then impressed as the event as the event progressed. That's got to be brilliant. How do you counter a player who totally relies on speed and power? You play back the game the way he does. That's exactly what Lyndon Roos just, just did. That's a beautiful rally. One, well done there. Great placement and a lovely pickup from both sides. Hugely talented, these two lads. And definitely the Chinese type of player, the more thinking of the lot. Zhang Wujin. Point out earlier, likes to go with the flow. This is a man who's uh, Lin Wen Root won 20 out of 27 matches across six events this year. Up against an inconsistent Zhang Wujun has won nine of 17 matches across seven events this year, as I said. He was hit and miss at the World Team Championships. Far away. Four, two. Well, unable to get those ball finishes right. Then Wendru just uh, struggles a tad bit every now and then. Oh, that's explosive. Really nice. Zhang Wujin is now racing ahead. 
That's a display of the shot she's best known for. Very powerful forehand. <laughs> Lillian Rue once again just struggling to put that ball back on the table. Zhang Wujin ahead by five points. Seven. And this time a silly mistake dragging that. Yeah, Why? Good position, isn't he, Jung Woo Jin? He doesn't want to let that go. Well, that timeout certainly did him a world of a difference. Mm. Yeah. He's been playing like a different player. Oh, beautiful return there. Eight, three. Yeah, he looks like a very different player now. It's just that confidence level. What a change. In fact, he's almost turned the tables on Lin Wenru. Yeah, there's real problems here now for Lin Wenru. This is in danger of going to two all. He's uh, struggling to cope with the power and pace of Jung Woo Jun. He's got seven game points. Left. Three. Ten. Ten. Four. Well done there by Lin Run Ru. That could be a little too late here. Still six game points. And it's done. Dang Woo Jin has gone level after going down by two. He's still got... He just got me. it onto the table. Yeah, just a slight edge. Excuse me, I got a little ahead of myself. Eleven, well, this time he does eight, get the point. So Dang Woo Jin, got to give him props here because he was down by two and he showed the his ability he's not being so impulsive and he has to battle back 11-5 in game fours two all So game number five shares. Um, what do we say? <laughs> Love, one. This early first uh, part of the round of 16 has been full of surprises. And uh, we always knew that these two were very, very well matched players. We're going to give each other a tough fight, but then Renew showed so much of promise when he won those early uh, games. Oh, very, very good. I just wonder. Now that momentum has shifted quite considerably over to Zhang Wujin. Whether he can uh, go on to, can he push on from here? He's quite happy to get to these rallies. 
he's also a player that likes to quick finish things off pretty quickly. You would think at the moment that Lin Min Roo would want to play it out. Back and forth at the moment in this fifth game. Well, I think Lin Min Roo's got to just put on his thinking cap a little bit and figure out what went wrong. Mm. Um, he knows that he's let Jung Woo-jin just, you know, trample all over him in the last two uh, games. But... Yeah, he's just... Well, getting stronger and stronger here. With every passing well shot, Jung Woo-jin. It's another well, point for him. He will serve at 3-2. I would hate to say this, but just for the moment, he's definitely looking like the stronger player here. And he's, he's the one that started on the back foot. Mm. Yeah. Great first reaction from Lin Min Roo, but not at the second time of asking. Well, just a strong bit of power play there from Chang Bu Jin. Five, three. Good from Lin Min Roo. He's fighting back. He knows that the longer this game goes on, the more difficult it's going to get. And the last thing he'd want to do is concede it to Chang Bu Jin, this particular game. Yeah, this one, whoever wins the third, uh, the, uh, their third, or the fifth overall. Five, four. Then, of course, it means you're putting pressure immediately on the other, on your opponent, because they cannot afford to lose the subsequent game. He's just showing, trying to show a little bit of impetuous spirit here. He is. In route. No doubt about it. I think uh, the timeout for him is in waiting. Not much needed. Five. Well done. Very well done there. Maybe that's the way. Can hold Chang Wu Jin back. Six, so stepping it up here, mm. Lin Min Roo. Nice comeback from him to equalize. It was so needed, so needed. Looking like he's snatching at some of these shots, Lin Min Roo. So hit by a single point. Will serve. It's, it's inc quite incredible, Glenn. I think you mentioned it since that timeout that Jung Woo Jin took in the third game where he was under a considerable pressure, how he has turned it around since then. And taking control of the whole <laughs> encounter. Oh. Six, nine. Got the nine points, and Lin Min Ryu knows. 
Oh, he's just kind of stuck there for answers. There's going to be no other timeout. So, mm. well, uh, Lin Winru can take one, but he's not going to take it now, I don't think. Well, he might do. I mean, it's probably a little too late now in this game. Well, I think he should. Probably the right time. Three points behind. Let's make that four points behind. Now, here he is on the verge of clinching the third game. Yep, four game points here for Zhang Wujun. Oh, he's just gone from strength to strength in these last two and almost three games. Yeah, he really has. The quality of those returns, absolutely phenomenal. So there it is. Brilliant from Zhang Wujun. Driver's seat. Gotta say, this is hugely impressive from him. So Zhang Wujin is in front for the first time in this match. He's won game five, 11 six. He's up 3 2 against Lim Minru. Well, he's just continuing in the same vein that he started. Whoever would have thought about it two games down to come back and lead a 3-2 Zhang Bujin and says I'm just get the sneaking suspicion well this is this could either be the decider mm. or it could be a lifeline for Lin Bin Ru and really depends on how the Chinese Taipei lad can pull it together because right now I think he's lost his way somewhere yeah it's not uh not looking very good for Lin Minru. Not sure how we can pinpoint all this as to why it's meant for the wrong thing. But Zhang Wujin's a, a, like, he's kind of a confidence player, isn't he? he is. And he builds that momentum and it's very hard. Now that time has been taken. Could just wonder, is it coming a little too late? So timely timeout for Lin Rin Ru. Up. Just wondering when he was going to do that. He's, uh, well, three points behind in the sixth game between. So 
of these two lads in this round of 16. And finally gets back a point. Well, maybe his timeout will have the same galvanizing effect that it did on Jung Woo-jin earlier, but it's, it's, there's not much time left in this now. No, there isn't. One, That's feeding four. Jung Woo-jin, isn't it? Well, absolutely. You toss it up for him, and he'll go on for the kill. So it's now 1-4. Sneaking suspicion that Jang Woo Jin is not going to let go now. He's got to hold on this game. Four. And that's better from Win Win Roo. We'll just get the idea that Lin Win Roo, a tad bit low on confidence here. Those are the kind of shots that were going in earlier for him. Three, five. Yeah, and I just wonder now, as we're coming to the business end now, Jung Woo-jin can see it in sight whether he needs to keep his school calm and collected. But the shouts are getting louder and louder. He's certainly well going for gold here, isn't he? There's no doubt about it. Jung Woo Jin. Yeah, I think he senses it. Jung Woo Jin, that he's onto something here. And you can hear him all over the arena. That's how well fired up he is. Field. He's not far away, Glenn. He's now cruising. He's cruising, yeah. We were just talking about him uh, a while back, Shares, and you know, what you said has so much of weight. There are days when he could lose to players who basically are way behind him in the rankings or even in style of play, and then there are days when he can just come back and be the best in the business. Let's make that 310, and here it is. Yeah, he's almost there. Match and qualification point for the quarterfinals. Ten, four. Wonderful. He'll have to wait as we put that ball just out. So, Win Win Roo saving one. Ten, five. Not quite yet. Let's make that he saves two. Finland is not done either. Still five game points, five match points, I should say. Oh, oh that there. is brilliant. Jung Woo Jin. Back from the dead. Way to end this. He was, way to end this. He was in such trouble, wasn't he? And it looked like he was down and out. He's lost. His last two matches is his first win over Lin Win Roo since 2019. And it looked for all intents and purposes that he was going to be eliminated. But he has bounced back superbly. That timeout in the middle of the 
third game when he was two down really saved him. Well, it certainly did. I think it was uh, f probably the most important timeout of all in this tournament so far. Uh, we've seen players have timeouts and come back and lose games, but here he is. Uh, what a fantastic showing from Jung Woo Jin. He ruled this game, and here are the score shares. So Jung Woo Jin defeats Lin Win Ru 11-13, 5-11, 14-12. He was that close to going three down. 11-5, 11-6, 11-5. He beats Lin Win Ru by four games to two. So that's an exciting uh, finish from uh, Jung Woo Jin. I really, really think um, probably, probably for my money, uh, one of the upsets uh, today. Great result there for Jung Woo Jin. As we come to a close here, the first session, the second session happens at six o'clock local time. Seven, seven, third game. Eleven, eight, fourth game. Ten, eight. Eleven, 
Eight. Eight. 